So literally like Welcome first of all welcome to a new video with me at our plants Literally like my plants are not gonna give me a break um, I literally just finished as you guys saw in the previous video Repotting and doing all the work with the fiddle leaf fig tree my ficus lyrata and last night I found some issues with my ficus elastica and so I'm gonna upload the snap video. The I also upload on Insta Story because I just check right now and I don't see it. But a couple of leaves leaves have been dropping and I thought it was normal, you know, like ficus problems, whatever. But then it consistently happened and I've had this plant for like about oh the one you saw. I totally forgot. I uploaded the video from my Amazon plant haul. And then so I'm still confused as to why the leaves are dropping and why the leaves are like developing these like weird black splotches um i don't like having the leaves on me right now i think I, um but oh wait let me just show it to you on the plant so as you can see like something is wrong with this leaf and it's like leaves have been developing that and just falling off this tip has it too and so this has been happening for a while so that has been happening for a while and I don't know like it was really stressing me out and then I take a closer look and I see a little white very 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 little white bug crawling across the leaf and I immediately take an insta story and I put it up on insta and I'm just like what the hell is this and so stressful but I think it's a spider mite I've been talking to people and I think it's a spider mite I think that's the conclusion I've come to that's what everyone's telling me and so wow my hair is a mess and so um just my ficuses are giving me so so much such a hard time and now I'm going to spend my day repotting him and I don't know, maybe the soil is bad too, because apparently spider mites are only on the leaves and they suck the sap out of the leaves or blah blah blah, but I think that I'm touching the soil, it's very wet and soggy, so I guess the place I got it from is not good soil, not enough drainage. And so, just to make this a little bit more fun, I think I'm also going to be painting one of the terracotta pots, the terracotta, the, the terracotta pot that I'm, gonna, that I'm going to be putting it in. So, hopefully, you know, like that is a little bit more fun for me and yeah I let's get started let me just you know get this well I'm excited for the terracotta painting but sort of I'm like sick and tired of bugs I hate bugs and I hate dropping leaves it stresses me out so much and I feel like I sound like a whiny baby but it's like I care about them so much and it's like spending all that time and energy and money only for them to like drop le like what <sighs> yeah I'm just frustrated but yeah I'm going to I'm going to get started on the terracotta painting. I'm going to show you guys a couple of things I bought from Walmart for it. And yeah, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to try to sound normal and like excited. Not going to try to sound like frustrated and energy drained like I just did. Because, you know, this is a fun video and like I'm getting to do a DIY sort of project. Um, so yeah, let me talk about first what I bought from Walmart. I've got this terracotta uh, pot and terracotta saucer. I got some paint brushes, 10 piece. Everything was like cheap. I got this jet black apple barrel acrylic paint, matte acrylic paint. I wanted to do this matte and not glossy. And this acrylic sealer matte finish. Um, so yeah, uh, all of this was like $10 together, um, and I'm excited because it's like my first DIY sort of project, and I want, so I, I'm gonna just paint this all black because I really like have seen online like rubber trees and black pots, and I saw I, I would like that's really pretty because especially since the foliage on the rubber tree is so dark, and so I think it's gonna be a good look, and let's get started. Okay, so I am back out here on the balcony and I'm gonna just spray this outside so, you know, I'm not gonna do this indoors. And I'm not trying to breathe any of this, so I'm gonna stand far away as possible. Okay, so um, I'm sitting on the floor and both pots have dried. You can't really see it, but um, here they are. And so now I'm going to, they're sealed, and now I'm going to paint it black. I'm super excited. <coughs> 
smells kind of bad. Um, let's, I'm excited for this. I'm just painting it black, so there's not like much to see, but you know, like you can obviously, I'm just doing this one simple color, but you can do whatever. Um, like designs, decorations you want. Literally, it's not that expensive. And if you're an artist, even better. I'm not talented in the arts at all. So I'm just going to do it simple and paint it a solid black. Also, why is it so hard to freaking open? Alright guys, and just like that, I am done painting the saucer and the uh, terracotta pot. I'm gonna let them dry, um, and then I'm gonna seal them one more time, then let it dry again, and then I will repot the burgundy rubber tree. Do you see him there in the corner? Oh, I'm at war with him, low key. If he does not do well in this new pot, I will be so angry. But yeah, I've seen burgundy rubber trees in black pots and they are so pretty. And so I'm excited for this, for this, for the way this is going to turn out. Alright, hey guys. Um, so I have my potting mix ready. I'm waiting for the terracotta pot to dry. I put the seal on. Uh, I'm just out of breath. I'm tired. Okay, yeah, so I'm waiting. I'm waiting for that to dry. I'm going to mix this up and here is my... Ficus elastica burgundy that is ready to be repotted. Like the soil is still wet and soggy, like it's terrible drainage. And so, um, yeah, I just wanted to get into, I just wanted to get into the care of um, of this guy, of ficus elastica in general. Um, so like I have him and I have the ficus elastica decora ruby. I am on the hunt for a ficus elastica tineke. And so, like, just in my personal experience, like, I know different people have different experiences with them. But I think, like, generally, like, I feel like, I don't know, like, this may apply to everyone. But, yeah, like, um, I don't know. This is just true for me and just want to say that and mention that, you know. Um, so if you have a different experience, please share that in the comments below. I'd like to know, too. But, um, so just like, so like the ficus lyrata. I've noticed that the ficus elastica is very finicky and I feel like this is like a ficus problem in general. If you move them, they drop leaves. If you change the temperature, they drop leaves. If you change the humidity, they drop leaves. If you change the light, they drop leaves. If you fart on them, they drop leaves. Like they have so many fucking issues. Like literally, you gotta just touch these guys and they drop leaves. And so like, like that's literally my experience with them. Like um, the smaller fig leaf fig bush, like even when I moved it, um, from an old apartment to this apartment, like, it dropped leaves, like, it's just like, you can't, like, you just can't help it, like, if, if you're gonna move them, if you're gonna do that to them, they're gonna drop leaves. So just to go into their care, let's start with light. So I found that these guys like bright indirect light, like most houseplants, but they like super bright indirect light, like, it needs to be like really bright, like, obviously not direct sunlight bright, but like, really freaking bright not like in the corner of your room or like 10 feet away from the window like if that's the case like this guy like my tree is pretty far from the window like get a grow light like they need that bright indirect light they need that in their face and that's like what i found like even my fiddly fig bush like it's that one is right next to the window and it does get some afternoon direct sun and it's like happy as a climb there so like unlike a lot of my other plants that supposedly need bright indirect light like that like they are okay like in lesser like even moderate light like for instance um i don't know like a lot of my suck like the string of bananas i heard needs like super bright indirect light um i don't know like the monsteras the hoyas i don't know but like these are a little farther away from the window for me and they're doing just fine but the ficuses no they need bright bright indirect light in terms of soil uh, in terms of soil, they need the same mixture that I'm making from a ficus lyrata. Uh, they, um, I'm doing the 3-2-2 ratio or 6-4-4 ratio, 60-40, whatever. I put in this in this thing, I have three cups of garden coir by Burpee. It's organic, natural, uh, whatever, garden coconut coir. I have earthworm castings and I have pumice. So three of the garden coconut coir, 
two of the two cups of the earthworm castings and two cups of the pomegranates. I use like literally a measuring cup as a scoop. And so yeah, like this is this is how it looks. Um, and yeah, it's just you know like that I found is so far has been working the best for all my plants. And even if you like don't I don't know don't for some reason have access to any of these things. For instance, pomegranates you can substitute and you can put in perlite. Um, if you don't like use the earthworm castings or the bird pea, I found that Espoma Organic is really good. So if you, or um, at the moment I'm using Miracle Grow's Nature Care Organic, which is okay. Like Miracle Grow is trash, but that one is okay. And so um, you can use that. And so with that, what would you do is you would just use three cups of the organic potting mix and inside the organic potting mix they have like meal and all this food and stuff and then so you use three cups of that and then two cups of pumice or two cups of perlite or whatever but yeah um i don't like perlite because it like is super airy and thin and it just floats to the top and pumice like stays deep down in there and is like thicker and stronger and whatever so that's for soil then there's watering for watering, you want to water these guys thoroughly whenever the soil is dry to the touch. And so I have a moisture meter and I definitely am going to be using it more often, especially after my ficus lyrata crisis. Please watch those videos. I feel like they're super helpful. But um, yeah, you can put that in deep, put it in different areas, put the check the moisture meter around and just make sure it's dry. Only when it's dry, water these guys thoroughly. And usually that happens, for me at least, every 10 days. And this is going to depend on the person and the setting and the environment they're providing the plants. Like my room is pretty dry and it's like medium humidity at like 55% and always at like 55% humidity and it's 70%, 70 degrees uh, Fahrenheit always in my room, like in my house, in my apartment. So I see that every like 10 to 12 days, that's when I need to water okay and then for temperature so for temperature these guys i i see that they like it from 65 up until 80 that's what i've seen that's what i've had in my room and they are just fine in that temperature so i think for temperature for the most part it's easy because just keep it at room temperature and they're a-okay and then there's humidity for humidity i've seen that these guys do well like most well between 50 and 60 percent and then with occasion i occasionally also miss the leaves I miss the leaves about what every three days and that like helps with them I don't like put like rocks under um, their pots uh, in like a saucer or whatever for them to float on and I see that they do well just fine in that um, so in terms of humidity like if I recommend highly recommend getting like a hygiometer I think that's what it's called um, it's like ten dollars on Amazon I'll have it in the link below in the description below but um, yeah, they for the most part they do just fine between 50 to 60. I've seen for many people it go up to like 70% humidity and it's still okay and even higher. But my in my apartment it's generally between 50 to 60. Like right now it's 54% humidity I'm looking at and they are a-okay, they're happy. And then pests. Oh my god, fungus gnats. I mean, I, I'm just gonna address the pest that I recently saw on my found on my freaking rubber tree and that is spider mites so I mean you know there's the neem oil there's the mosquito bits maybe I'll do a whole video on that but for the spider mites like what I'm gonna be doing for this guy I'm gonna just thoroughly wash down all his leaves like really um, with a like wet towel like wipe all his leaves on, on top and under and like you know make sure I don't see any I mean I don't see any spider webs I just saw a couple spider mites so I'm just gonna you know try to take care of that as much as I can and just wash him thoroughly and down uh, and yeah I mean that's like all I can really do I mean I also have neem oil so I'm gonna like I think may maybe make a mixture of that and pat it down on his soul too but I heard neem oil smells really bad I don't know I have to I haven't used it yet so I have to try that but yeah right as of right now um, I only saw like two or three spot yeah I said three exactly three spider mines when I looked very carefully so there might be more who knows where but yeah um, all right, I'm just gonna thoroughly wash his leaves and maybe I'll do another video where I like fully cover pests or like a video per pest and how you know you can combat them or whatever. I would say that's about it for ficus lyrotic here. If I'm missing anything, please let me know in the comments below. 
And um, let's let's finish repotting this guy in his new. They're about done drying up in his new black terracotta pot and saucer. So as you can see, his soil is like super wet still. Like this is so terrible. I honestly feel like this is why his leaves are dropping because the soil is just not drying and it's just really bad from wherever the hell it came from. And so I'm going to just work on taking him out of this pot and hopefully getting him a better home. I don't feel any paralyte. I don't feel any pumice. Like I see a couple, but definitely not enough and this is just like very bad make sure look at that it's just like all wet like i'm touching the roots and they're so soggy like some of the roots are even coming off this must be like the root rot problem look literally root rot Th that's that's how you know it's root rot the roots are just coming off they're mushy that's why his leaves are dropping because of freaking the soil is terrible hopefully i can save him now because oh my god i'm so sorry all right guys if you can see this is the root ball of the plant i like tried to expose as much soil as possible the soil is just really wet so it's like not really getting out of there and in the process it's like so this is really bad it's like it was cold and wet the entire time i was doing this um, but in the process of doing that, this leaf, that rotten leaf that I was talking about, fell off. This was going to eventually fall off, just like all the other rotten leaves that fell off. And so, but for the most part, the roots look pretty, the roots that are intact are healthy looking. They're like white and a little bit tan, and I think that's what they're supposed to look like. Put some soil at the bottom. Like pumice is so much nicer than perlite and that soil that I just took out had neither that much, had like no pumice and very very little perlite. Like what the hell was that going to do, you know? Alright guys, well that's the end of this video. Let me show you guys the final product. I love the like pink lighting and then like the black. Oh my god, this is actually, I am super proud of this. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to give it a thorough watering. And then I'm going to let it sit in front of the grow light for a little bit longer. Maybe I'll, I mean I've, been, I've kept the grow light on for like 8 hours now. And that's like how long it's supposed to be. But because I'm going to water this right now, I'll probably keep it on up until I go to sleep so that, you know, it, like, continues whatever, like, healing and recovering. I put a lot, like, this new soil mixture should be much better for him. And terracotta, so a breathable pot instead of the plastic pot. So, you know, all in all, I hope he does, I hope he does well. Um, but yeah, that being said, if you guys like this video, I don't know, I have a bunch of plants to repot, so if you like this video, I don't know, let me know in the comments or something. Um, but that being said, Peace for now.